Korean zaps. Okay, first off, let me tell y'all a story. Nude heel, black heel are essential. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your girl, Sierra. Hey, yeah. And I am so happy to be back with a sit down video. I find that these videos are so intimate. I feel like I'm just like right here with y'all. I know I've been gone, but I'm back. I'm in a better mental space and I'm just really excited to start cranking out these videos for y'all. I have so many ideas and um, concepts. Anyways, in today's video, I am gonna be covering summer staples or like summer essentials for a capsule style wardrobe. And in case you are new here to my channel, welcome, my name is Sierra. And I really am about collecting and reviewing pieces that I find to be classic and timeless in style. And yeah, these pieces that I'm gonna be talking about today, for instance, are pieces that I feel like I've been missing in my wardrobe. Um, I've always like, wanted like a little strappy heel that's like every day i always wanted like a little yeah we just gonna hop right into it because i don't want to give it anything away and y'all these pieces come from every which way just to let y'all know some pieces i got in paris some pieces i got at sample sale so i'm gonna tell y'all about it all so the first piece that i picked up not most recently like within the past like month is actually a tom brown sweater and i will say i'm probably gonna have to do like a part two to this video or like another pickups or capsule wardrobe video because this is not everything some things i have to wash because i've already worn so yeah i got the opportunity to go to a tom brown sample sale shout out to my friend angel marte i love you love you love you angel um he works there and yeah he pulled me in for his little friends and family Cause the only way that you can get into this sample sale is if you like know someone that worked there because you gotta be on a list no but when i got there i went on the last day of the sale and i literally went the last hour of the sale so i was going into it thinking i wasn't gonna find much but i found a few little pieces i mean definitely if i have the opportunity to go again i'm gonna want to go like maybe the first or second day that they have the sale because it was kind of scarce but with that being said i did a few things i'm gonna show y'all other pieces that i got in the next video but to start, I picked up this cardigan here. I don't even want to say how much I paid for it because it might make somebody mad. But let's just say it was under $100, period. 100% freaking cashmere, made in Italy, obviously. It's Tom Brown. And I like it too because it's in this print. Now, if I'm honest, this is something that I would only purchase at a sample sale because I don't really find this to be so classic considering that it has this, you know, green... Uh, print all over it. I found that you know this was a good little price. So I'm like, yeah, I'll go ahead and get a green, you know, Tom Brown little cardigan shindig. And it has all of like the little details in case you are unfamiliar with Tom Brown pieces. With his cardigans, he always has um little button details on the side, and then if you unbutton it, it has the Tom Brown red, white, and blue little stripes. So that is like a detail that you can always be able to see or a detail that you can always spot to see if it's a Tom Brown piece, I guess. Um, and also at the back, you have like the same little um, stripe detail. I feel like the fit too is just so perfect on me. It was literally the only one hanging on the rack. And I'm just like, why is this still here? Like, I couldn't even believe it. Um, and I believe it is like a runway piece, if I'm not mistaken. Angel, if I'm wrong about this, please comment down below. And I would definitely say that a lightweight cardigan, uh, maybe not one with a print on it, but Something simpler than this baby is definitely going to be a staple for summer, for spring, for fall. You can, you know, throw it um, over top of a t-shirt that you're wearing or you can even wear it on its own like how I was in the video. And I would say too, given that it is 100% cashmere, a fabric of the earth, like it still kind of breathes um, naturally, you know, on the body, which I really appreciate. So love 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 this piece i would definitely say get you a lightweight little cardigan before i went to paris y'all this is another piece that i ended up purchasing i went to the front general store because i wanted to get some basics and front general store is literally the best place for t-shirts for a good little trouser actually my ring that i wear every freaking day i got from the front general store and i think i paid like 80 dollars for it and they tend to carry like um, sterling silver from New Mexico or Mexico and I find that 
it, it holds up really well. Like I never ever take this off and love it. And I actually talked about these in my vlog, which I'll link up here for you guys in case you didn't see that. Um, I actually have a t-shirt that I got from them as well that is made in Japan. It's like a vintage white t-shirt. I think I paid like $50 for it, which is kind of steep for a t-shirt. But what I tell y'all, the way it falls on my little body is everything and it look good with jeans. The texture of it is just so beautiful. I find that if you're, I feel like if you are a person that's into like textiles, um, just like classic silhouettes again, Front General Store in New York is definitely a store that you should check out. And yeah, I ended up picking up these little shorts here. And first off, when I seen the waist, I got so freaking excited because my waist is super, super small. I'm a really, you know, small person just in general. So to find something that fits my waist as perfectly as these do, it's just really hard to find. And yeah, so when I picked these up, I was just like, oh my God, these look promising. And I tried them on and it was obsessed. It says that it is... Um, I guess it was made in 1981. I guess that's what the tag says there. If y'all can see that. And 100% cotton. And I just love the freaking silhouette of them. I love how they kind of flare out. It's like kind of a boxy type of a short. And this is definitely another piece that I would say is a staple for summer. Something that is like a cargo-y type of a vibe. I remember last summer, for instance, I didn't have this short. And I ended up wearing Connor's little cargo, cargo short. And it... It gives like a Kim Possible type of a vibe. And yeah, these types of shorts too, I find they are very, very easy to dress up or dress down. Um, you can wear them with like a little strappy heel. You can wear them with sneakers. I would definitely say too that this style short is probably easy to find maybe at like a thrift store or like a military store, like a place where they sell like vintage military wear. And yeah, I just think that these are just perfect. I love how tailored. I love how one leg is shorter than the other. Can y'all see this? Like one leg, I think it's my right leg, is longer than the left. I don't know if this is intentional, but I will say if you are shopping at Front General Store, keep in mind with their secondhand pieces that they are sometimes not perfect. I don't know how I missed this. I like warm to work the other day and I'm like looking at myself in the mirror, obsessed with myself as a cancer usually is. <laughs> no, But uh, I'm like, wait, one of my legs is longer than the other. Like one, yeah. So I'm gonna have to take these to a tailor. I love how tailored they are too in the waist. And if you can't find a short like this particularly, I would definitely say something that is 100% cotton like this and maybe something that hugs the waist. Something that hugs the waist, I feel like it'll always appear to be a little bit more put together. Um, especially if it's cotton, it'll be put together mixed with like effortlessness, which is everything. And yeah, y'all, I feel like the only thing that I... The only bad thing I have to say about these shorts is I don't have like pockets on the side. I would have to utilize these bottom pockets, which I'll probably just wear like a little crossbody bag when I wear these. But other than that, y'all, as you can see, they are giving waist periodo. And yeah, I'm, I'm obsessed. I feel like I can't gain a pound, but that's all right. That's all right. Raise your hand if you cannot stop listening to Joy by Pharrell. I, it's just such a great song. But anyway, I have to do this part in voiceover, guys, because I kept calling this skirt a maxi skirt, and it's called a midi skirt. And yeah, so I would definitely say a midi skirt is a must for really all seasons, but definitely in the spring, especially if it's in a breathable fabric like a silk. Um, this one I'm wearing here is a silk. And as you can see, just the way it flows on the body when it is a silk garment, it's just so freaking beautiful. You can truly see the movement, especially when it's on the bottom half of you as you are walking. And this skirt I actually picked up when I was in Paris from this secondhand shop called Frivoli. And the person who worked there, the owner, she was just like, I have these skirts for you. And then she pulled out this little product. I'm like, girl, what? And she was about the same size as me. And I'm like, you sure you don't want this skirt? She's like, no, it's for you. And yeah, I didn't, I didn't even have to try it on really, but I did. And I'm like, yeah, obsessed. And this is like my first product clothing piece. So super excited about it. Brilliant that. Okay, first off, let me tell y'all a story. So I was in Paris, y'all, and I really, really wanted these Parenza Schooler heels. If you've seen my first Paris vlog, then you already know this little story. I'm gonna make it short. And if you aren't familiar with Parenza Schooler, it is an American brand. It is owned by two guys. And the Parenza Schooler comes from their grandmother's maiden's names. And it's so funny, because I thought the Parenza Schooler was owned by like a woman this whole freaking time. 
how ignorant of me and then I did research and I'm like wait who is these two women yeah they are the founders and they got a good little eye and I love 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 what they have been doing for years okay I've been following them for years although I don't own many Perenza schooler pieces I did go to a sample sale however and I got like one little shirt that I literally always get a compliment on every freaking time I wear it for the most part I'm a person who wears sneakers and I feel like if you are a person that wears sneakers, comment down below. If you are going to wear a heel, you want it to be comfortable, okay? That's what, always what I'm looking for when I buy heels. It's like comfort. Um, like my Bottegas, this is like the first, I think, heel, designer heel that I had bought in a very long time, a couple years ago, and super freaking comfortable. And I would say too, when you buy in heels, especially, it's worth investing in because heels are already elevated off the ground, so... I feel like you don't want like long-term problems. You don't want like back problems in the future. Although if you wear heels every day, that's probably still gonna happen. But for me, I'm the type of person where I wear heels every now and again, you know? And when I do, I wanna be just as comfortable in them as I am with sneakers. And with that being said, I seen these little babies in the window and I was like, oh my God, the heel isn't too long, too um, tall. I love the little thong sandal front and also the square freaking toe i feel like it's something about a square toe that it's just like so classic and so modern and as you guys can see it also has like a little padding detail uh on the inside which also is very comfortable when you are walking and also the heel is like what maybe like two and a half three inches and very very easy to walk in however i will say that i wish that it wasn't maybe elastic at the back i wish it was like something that you can like buckle because i i really am hoping that this doesn't like stretch out over time and then it just you know it's always slipping off my foot but yeah this is a sexy little shoe y'all very sexy very simple in design which is why i was just so gravitated towards it i feel like a shoe like this one the options are endless when it comes to styling like you could always put on a little baggy little jean, a little maxi skirt, a little linen piece. Like, especially with it being black, I feel like it makes it even more versatile. But yeah, Perenza Schooler, you guys, they are made in Italy. And I went true to size with these babies. So I would definitely say if you need a classic little summer heel that's comfortable to walk in, that's simple enough that it'll go with most pieces in your wardrobe, I would highly recommend checking out this Perenza Schooler little heel. Also actually this Christopher Esper, 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 Christopher Esper heel too. I was looking at in addition to these, but I ultimately I ended up going with these. So I got these cause I'm like, I can actually go out for wine with friends, you know, and be comfortable. But with the Christopher Esper, I do find them to be just as classic, just as sexy. And if you are into a taller heel or if you don't mind a taller heel, I would definitely say check those out as well for another everyday or classic little heel. And I am so, so, so looking forward to wearing these for my birthday, probably. And like other little places, like I, I definitely want to start wearing heels more. I feel like I have find, kind of fallen into this space of just like just wearing sneakers. I'm young. I feel like heels kind of just bring out like a sexiness in you, a, a different type of a walk. And yeah, I just can't wait to give that with these babies. And then last but not least, we're gonna get into another little summer sandal. And this sandal I actually purchased while I was in Paris. And y'all, I purchased this honestly out of desperation and out of just like me just procrastinating and waiting to the last minute. And literally I bought this on impulse and I'm so happy that I still like it. Cause I don't know about y'all, comment down below, but sometimes, most times when you impulse buy, you get home or maybe a week later or even sometimes a month later you find like why did I buy this piece or you just don't find it to be as practical or as useful as you may have thought. I remember listening to this podcast by the what else those it's these two dudes and they are about minimalism and they were saying that you know anything over a hundred dollars as far as like things that's not necessary you should probably take at least 30 days to like think about it and mold it over and with that being said i didn't do that at all with this purchase i was literally in paris and i was trying to find a shoe to wear to the wedding that i was going to again i'll link up the vlog it's all in the vlog in case y'all haven't seen it but yeah i wanted a shoe that was going to go with for that wedding but also a shoe that i can wear after that wedding and i ended up going to gallery lafayette it is a big mall in paris and actually, I was on the prowl for the Prince of Schoolers that I just showed y'all. And I didn't even know this. I should have Googled this. 
but this is what happened when you do things last minute. There was no Parenza Schooler store in freaking Paris. I think the only one is in New York because I ended up calling the New York store. Maybe she said it was another one, but anyway, it was no store in Paris. That's what the lady had told me. And I was like, oh my God, like my heart dropped. I'm like, so I really just thought I was going to go to Paris, get these shoes, probably get taxed back, tweaked. And they actually had a Parenza Schooler like white label, which I guess is like a more like everyday type of a line for Parenza Schooler. But yeah, they didn't have the heels there. So at this that point, I was like desperate to find something just as classic as that shoe. I'm probably pronouncing this wrong, but I just watched her interview and I believe her name is Anine Bing. Anine Bing, and she is a Scandinavian designer and she founded the brand in 2012. And I have seen this brand definitely around New York and I'm like, oh, and I feel like I've seen it online as well. And I'm just like, this is cute. Like these are cute, like everyday pieces. And I've always kind of been planning to go in New York but I just, I guess I hadn't found the time yet. And when I found out that Anine Bing was Scandinavian, I'm like, it made so much sense to me because it is very much so clean, minimal, like quality basics. Uh, I believe she tends to use like cashmere and silks and cottons and even like 14 karat gold for like the jewelry. If you're unfamiliar with Scandinavian brands, they tend to be like very clean and aesthetic and like always tend to use like really good fabrics. Like they are about function, I feel like. Like Totem is a Scandinavian brand, which is also like very good basics. Um, our Legacy, Acne Studios. But with that being said, Anine Bing was definitely a store that I had been planning to check out. And turns out I was in desperate need of a little shoe and I ended up seeing this one here. And I was like, oh my gosh, that might work. I mean, I was kind of wishing that it was black, but I was like, a nude shoe will work. And also I don't own a nude heel and I feel like nude heel, black heel are essential. And yeah, cause if the black don't work, you can always do the nude. The nude don't work, you can always do black. And also I love too that just like the Parenza, these have a square front and also the heel is not too tall it's also about the same length as the Prenza's, like maybe two and a half inches three inches so pretty easy to walk in and also i love the new color with a black little polish like it's getting very much so chic 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 and yeah y'all so i ended up getting this shoe in paris out of desperation on impulse and i'm so happy that i have worn it here in new york already and i find it to be very very practical and just very easy to style so this was a good impulse buy i guess and i also went true to size with these guys i got a 39 and yeah the sales associate was so nice and like so willing to like help me because he saw that i was like kind of going through it y'all i was like oh my gosh like trying to find something to wear trying to find a shoe but yeah i ended up wearing this shoe in paris on the boat and it was just so cute so comfortable to walk in and also one thing about this shoe too that scares me is again the strap situation i just feel like i shouldn't have any issues considering that this is a quality shoe and a luxury brand so hopefully it will hold up as it should but again i wish it was something that it could go through you know something that can grow through i don't know if y'all understand what i'm saying but yeah basically to close it you have this little um piece here that can be inserted into one of the holes so basically i just my fear is like the hole will get stretched out and then this will keep coming off as i walk but so far it is very sturdy so and i'm probably not gonna wear them that that much to be quite honest like i'll probably wear these like maybe once or twice a month but yeah I find it to be quality so yes y'all those are some pieces that i find to be summer capsule wardrobe essentials and comment down below to let me know what you guys find to be essentials for your wardrobe inspire me inspire us all and it's definitely going to be a part two to this video because as i told you guys some pieces are dirty some pieces are dry cleaning so i'm definitely going to be showing you guys other pieces that i find to be essential slash i picked up within the past couple of months but as always thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video